in Africa, there are many cultures and each of them has different beliefs and practices that they abide by on a daily basis. It is these beliefs and practices that make them who they are and sets them apart from other cultures surrounding them. The Latuka, sometimes known as the Utuhu, are an ethnic group whose traditional home is in the south of Sudan. They speak the Utuhu language, Latuka number between 150,000 to 200,000 people, scattered in 24 villages in the plain and tens of other villages in the mountains. The Latuka are mainly subsistence farmers. This means everyone farms for themselves and their family. They keep animals' heads of cattle, sheep, and grow food crops such as maize, yam, granite, and potato. The division of labor among the Latuka is largely based on gender and age. Amongst traditionally masculine activities are the clearing of virgin lands for cultivation, the building of houses, and other odd but heavy chores around the house. On the other hand, the female takes on the lighter activities, such as cooking and housekeeping. Both sexes, however, cultivate crops together although it is generally the responsibility of the female to weed the field and harvest the crops, while the male must clear sufficient land for cultivation. When it comes to religion and spirituality, they are one of the few in the world to have stayed true to their beliefs. Over the years, they have resisted any form of religious influence at all costs while keeping their belief in nature and ancestral worship. The Latuka religious system revolves around the belief in the supernatural force called Ajok, which is God. The priest forms the link between man and the supernatural and is a medicine man par excellence. He commands tremendous respect since being a priest is regarded as a difficult profession. Besides the priest are the chief and the village headsman, their responsibility being to ward off diseases and other calamities. These normally revealed to them in sleep rather than by diagnosis, technique used by the witch doctors. The most fascinating thing about this tribe in South Sudan comes with their marriage. In Latuka, when a young man finds a woman to marry, he initially kidnaps her from her home. Afterwards, he goes to the girl's family with his elders to formally seek for her hand in marriage. The father of the bride also approves of the union by also beating the son-in-law to be. This action explains that the man is willing to be beaten for her. It's about the sacrifices he's willing to make for the woman he loves. However, if the father of the bride disproves of the union, the man is at liberty to return the bride to her father's house or still marry her if he so wishes. Both the kidnapping of the bride and the beating of the son-in-law are said to be not violent in any way. Many have argued on this practice for long, wondering if it is right for a woman to be kidnapped and left without a choice to decide if she wants to be with a man or not. These actions that are being carried out are not absurd and merely show what the Latuka believe in. Latuka men do not view this action as disrespectful towards the women. They may see it as an ultimate sign of affection. Another way of looking at it is that Maybe the women are all right with this. Grown up in the Latuka tribe, they must know that this is how the men in the tribe go about finding a spouse. This has become natural to them, and to not do it would be weird to them. People cannot be so quick to judge another culture before learning about what they truly mean to its people.